The crypto market is on fire today and I'm really eager to share these awesome polka news with you. Okay, okay, I set on fire because it's red, not because everyone is hyped up. Now let's kick things off with Moonbeam. Now I told you in the past in previous videos that Derry Q told us gaming is the next market that the team will chase after and it's finally begun. Champ Safe Gaming is coming to Moonbeam and it's a software development kit that they're providing using Unity. But the question is, will they also integrate with Moonriver or just Moonbeam? That I'm not so sure of. Congratulations to Polkadex, they have just joined the Parachain family after a very long wait for their development since early 2021. They're the happy winner of Auction 16 also. Keep in mind that any exchanges that supported the crowd loan will also list, although the team won't tell you till it's official. In this case, both MEXC and Kraken have supported, so they will be the first ones to list from my experience with previous Parachain Auction winners and likely from yours too. But now we just need to wait for that awesome order book decks. Only Polkadex and Mangara will launch order book decks on Dot Sama so far, in case you didn't know. But Polkadex were the first to develop. Looking at the Polka auctions quickly, Bifrost are in the lead to get their slot on Polkadot, and Coinversation are second to follow. But Totem, one which I've been supporting and have contributed to because I like the tokenomics of being community focused, is currently last in the lead. However, I'm not concerned because they'll eventually win when the battles ease off, just like on Kusama. Now, if you want to contribute to Totem, my ref link can be found in the description of this video for a 5% bonus. Before we talk about the Kusama auctions, there's something else. Yes! 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 Yes, that's right. Coinbase will finally list Kusama after such a long wait. They sure took their sweet time, but then again, Coinbase always do. The way they've been moving, I'm expecting Moonriver to have a listing sometime next year, Moonbeam 2. But to get back to the auctions on Kusama, Shiden will win the current auction, but then the battle is raging between Listen and Bajun for the next auction. Bajun, I've already gained over 3000 KSM in contributions, and I'd like to thank you for using my referral link for the 5% bonus so far. I'll personally be pushing in more KSM than I already did after I get my KSM back on the 15th of me. Why? Because I think Bajun will do well, they have solid backers, gaming is here to grow and Polkadot and Kusama don't have their gaming share yet. Also remember that if you do decide to contribute, my ref link is down in the description below the video and pinned comment as well. Don't forget the awesome lockdown event which is going to take place and next week between Wednesday and Friday. What's more awesome is that there are some last minute spots given away for free. If you use code BLOCK100 when you go to purchase the GMI ticket from the website, I've posted a link below just in case you're interested. Let's get to the Polka news. Dan Reeser from Akala tweeted that 6.5 million DOT had been unstaked from validators. Wait, what? Calm down, it's not for dumping, it's for DOT liquid staking with LDOT on Akala and the Tapio protocol TDOT stable swap synthetic which is about to be released soon. Gosh, I love this soon word in crypto, don't you? Manta also announced that they'll be bridging assets between Calamari and Karura and you can vote on the proposal right now using your KME to enable privatization of Karura, EOSD and LKSM through Calamari. Aster Network announced that a live coding workshop will take place virtually, so if you're interested in learning how to code on Substrate and building that cool app using Subsquid's framework, you can do that. wonder if Subsquid is easier to learn than Substrate, which I was told can be a nightmare even for the most experienced devs. BitCountry's Chris, who's a community manager and a really cool and down-to-earth guy who I had the chance to talk to during a Twitter space AMA in Spanish, has designed the Leon Cathedral in the metaverse and it looks almost as good as the real one. So the team are crushing it every day with updates uh, to get us hyped up for what's to come and to hopefully make us forget about the nasty bear market and possible recession that's about to come. Darwinia have also launched a proposal to dispose of the early crab airdrop and transfer it to ring and dot holders proportionally, I guess. They took a snapshot on the 20th of March or March 20th if you're American. Darwinia also held a cool AMA recently with my buddy Sam Elamin from Imbu Network and I was able to join it to listen to how Sam had a plan to fund real world businesses including farmers. <coughs> yes, you heard that right. He's committed to finding that farmer. 
Don't forget to also join tomorrow's community roundtable talk for Remark episode 8 artists and projects of Singular. That's been it from today's Polka News. In just two days, I'll be doing videos with my phone from lockdown, so make sure to subscribe to not miss out the updates that uh, if you're not already part of this community. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.